Okay, uh, Cash Took Bowcraft here today. Um, we are here for uh, part six of the uh, pistol uh, build along. And as you can see here, I went ahead and uh, worked uh, the handle uh, thinner. Um, you can see that, as I was talking about before, it's a little bit uh, wider here. So that would be in more uh, contour with the, uh, with the butt cap. And then tapers in and then back out to the side panels of the, uh, of the gun. And um, just wanted to show you guys uh, how it looks uh, so far. It's a little bit roughed in. It's not uh, fully uh, done yet, or the handle is not fully done yet. Um, I think there's a little bit more wood I have to take off on this side here. I'm just eyeballing it and, and getting down to where it fits, fits my hand uh, comfortably. Um, it might be a little bit too thin, but it is what it is. I got carried away. Also, what I did, I uh, worked on the butt cap a little bit. Um, I noticed after I had completed inletting it that there were some small gaps in between the butt cap and the uh, stock and I pretty much worked out all of those uh, all of those uh, gaps so uh, the butt cap fits a lot better uh, has a lot better look to its finish than uh, it did previously took the gun out of the vise so I could show you a little bit better um, uh, there was some there was a larger gap on this end here and I pretty much got that but you know it's it's uh, not perfect, but it's uh, good enough for me. It looks fine to me. So there you go. I reworked the butt cap and I reworked uh, the handle. Um, you can see how my hand just fits right inside here. And uh, it fits really good uh, as far as um, the way the handle fits into my hand. So um, I'm just going to finish it up and sand it down and... Um, uh, get that uh, taken care of when I get closer to uh, finishing this gun. But what happened uh, yesterday was I went and received the lock for my gun. So um, I have all the parts that I need uh, to complete uh, this build. Um, I marked, I don't know if you could see it or not, but there's a, a pencil line here where I marked the end of the trigger uh, lever and the trigger is going to go right about there. Okay. Right about there. And the lock will go right about here. So that this, uh, this, uh, oh hell, I don't know what that's called, but that lever uh, gets activated by the trigger mechanism here. And, um, Hopefully it'll line up when I get it done. So the lock's going to go there. The trigger guard is going to go right here. And the barrel is going to go right about there somewhere. What I did, I just took the ramrod and uh, put it down the barrel and marked off where, where it touched and um, came out a little bit and uh, that's where I'm going to put the touch hole. Uh, I got to drill a hole and put the uh, uh, vent liner in there and that's where it's going to go. I'm going to take this uh, uh, breech plug out when I start inletting the, the barrel but um, preliminarily that's where it goes. You can't really place the barrel until you figure out where you're going to put the lock. You can't really put the lock until you work, figure out where you're going to put the trigger. At least that's what my uh, thinking is. And since I know for sure where I'm going to put the trigger, I think I'm going to inlet the trigger first and then inlet the lock. i got to take this thing all apart and inlet it. And then after I do that, I'm going to place the barrel and figure out exactly where I'm going to put the barrel so it lines up with the, with the uh, powder pan, the flash pan here. Okay, so that's where I'm at now. Um, so I'm going to start uh, inletting this trigger and um, we'll turn the video on uh, when I'm about midway through and show you where I'm at. Okay, as you can see here, I uh, uh, 
traced in um, where exactly my trigger is going to go. Um, making sure that it's uh, in the center of the uh, of the stock and I traced out uh, the lever uh, portion here and I uh, started uh, inletting uh, around the uh, the lines or, or within the lines and I'm going to uh, chisel that stuff out there so um, so there you go I just went ahead and just got started on it um, set the camera down here you may not be able to even see what I'm doing because uh, it's not in a good place but anyway um, all I'm doing is taking the chisel and um, just staying within those lines and um, making myself a uh, just relieving the wood so I can uh, gouge it out. And as I'm doing this, I'm realizing that I don't know what I'm going to take that wood out with. I don't have a chisel that, that's that skinny. But anyway, I'm just going to keep working it. Just take out these first uh, preliminary, uh, preliminary, preliminary uh, cuts. Um, This little uh, channel that I'm making for the uh, lever of the um, trigger doesn't have to be uh, exact because it's going to get covered up with the uh, with the uh, thicker or the wider portion of the trigger uh, plate anyway. But um, I just want to make sure I get it in here. Just try to do a good job, even though. At least, at least initially get it into the stock far enough down so I can actually place the trigger flush against the, the bottom of the stock so I can actually see how it's going to look um, once the thing is uh, fully inlet. Get a better idea of its positioning on, on the gun. Anyway, so you can see here that it's uh, partially inletted, and like I said before, this uh, lever here will fit inside of that slot. I have a little bit more uh, to go, but um, I'm just going to go ahead and continue on. This video is kind of long, uh, but anyway, I'm going to turn off the camera, and then I'll turn it back on when I'm uh, closer to being done. But there you go. There's the uh, trigger uh, with the initial inletting into the stock. I just got started inletting uh, the trigger here. You can see that I'm uh, uh, probably a little bit more I gotta go to uh, to get this thing uh, fully inletted. Um, but uh, you can see here that I've already got it channeled out. Um, what I'm going to be doing is beveling the um, the edges uh, to like an inward uh, slant. So that when I put it in, uh, it'll kind of like wedge itself uh, into the uh, into the uh, channel here. Um, so I'll go ahead and do that, and um, uh, you'll see the uh, end result in uh, part seven of the pistol build along. Castro Bullcraft, thanks for watching.